Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and you'll probably recognise the Co-Link Stronghold from my previous videos. So I just thought I'd do a quick update on how it's getting on and what problems I'm finding with it and what features I'm liking on it and what I'm going to do to change it to make it a little bit better. So first of all, is uh, the case has been great actually, it's, uh, it's a fantastic case. For the money, I don't think you can genuinely get any better. When it's got the uh, tempered glass side panel on, it really does look fantastic. Got no problems there whatsoever. The only things that at the moment I am looking at changing is, at the moment I've got the stock AMD fan on the Ryzen 2200G, and that fan, I think there's a fault with it, it sounds horrible, it sounds like one of the rifle bearings or whatever type of bearing is in there is slightly off and it's just really noisy and it tends to resonate through the entire chassis because of it being kind of like a one piece deal, the noise just transfers all the way around. So we're definitely going to be resolving that by installing the Freezer 33. Now that is the uh, original RT33, but it's been modified slightly by me. And when I say modified, I mean spray painted. So you'll see a little bit of that later on. Um, I think it looks much nicer, but you can make, it, make your minds up for yourself when you see it. So and also think, another thing we're going to do is, at the moment we've got two fans up in the front and because of where the headers are placed on the board and the wiring for those uh, fans is a little bit weird, there's not really many places to pass the cable through. So what I'm considering to doing is to try and balance up the airflow. I'm going to take one of these fans off and I'm going to stick it on this back area. So I've got one drawing in and one drawing out. So that should be pretty balanced airflow. The, uh, the basement and the bottom contains the power supply. There's another fan in there, but that's essentially just drawing air in underneath and straight out the back. So I'm not really gonna put that in the equation when it comes to balancing the airflow. Now having balanced airflow in this case is probably gonna be a good idea because either too much pressure inside or too little pressure inside is gonna pull dust in and get dust all over the, uh, the glass and make it so I've got to clean it that much more often. So anyway, that's where we're at. Oh, actually, one other thing before I, uh, I uh, go on too far. Again, because the way the case is made to a certain price point, certain things have been left out of the equation, uh, one of which being rubberized grommets for the hard drive. So if you're using a mechanical hard drive, unfortunately, it's mounted directly to the chassis on kind of rails, but they're metal rails. So if you've got on a slightly older drive like I have, the resonance of the drive goes all the way through the chassis. And depending where you put it, can make quite a noise. So what I've done, using some packing foam, cut out some pieces, roughly the same size as the hard drive, three and a half inch. So two of those on top of each other to give it a bed to raise it up off the deck. Another little piece at the front of the drive and another little piece on the side of the drive, just to isolate any mechanical vibration from the chassis. Now being that this is CAF's PC and it's on pretty much all the time, any noises or any quibbles with it drives both of us crazy when we're uh, in the kind of living room uh, stroke, dining room stroke, office, studio, whatever. It's just a pain because the noise just vibrates around the room and it's not good. So I'll just quickly spin this around so you can see what it's like. So the hard drive is tucked in there and you can probably just about make out where the foam is. So it's just a little bit on the side there. There's a little bit right at the very back and there's two layers of it on the bottom, just to give it enough height for this uh, right angle connector, just to bring it up off the ground a little bit. So that's where we're at. We're gonna change the fan over now, and then uh, change the cooler. And then we'll see how quiet it is after. So let's get on and do it.
Okay, so that's the job done. We've got our Arctic Cooling Freezer 33 in there, the modded version. Um, we've moved our fans to the back, so hopefully this is going to be nice and quiet when it's plugged back in. I'm pretty sure it will be. Um, with padding underneath the hard drive, any vibration of the rumble should be completely eliminated. Now this video serves two purposes in fact. Firstly, it was an update of the Cooling Stronghold, which uh, I find is to be a fantastic case, albeit with a few little quirks, such as the, uh, the hard drive mountings, but nothing you can't work around. Um, the rest of the case, absolutely fantastic. And I keep on finding more and more things about it that I like. But the second part of this video actually is part of one of my upcoming videos, which is based on the Huawei P10 Lite, which you're currently watching this video being filmed on, which Kath is using. Was it a mistake to buy it? Well, I'm not going to answer that question now. I'll answer that question in the video. So make sure you cl click on the subscribe icon, click on the chime button. If you like this video, click on like. If you click on dislike, because you've disliked it. And if your comments are a little bit more, well, interested in that, then put it in the comment section and we will have a discussion about your comment. I've been Mike. This is Mike's unboxing reviews in how to. This has been the Colink Stronghold, and that has been the P10 Lite. Thanks for watching.